Coming up on speed, German giant Andre Lange tries to stay perfect for the season in search of his fourth straight win. While Americans, Steve Holcomb and Brock Kreitzberg look to move up from second to get the elusive first victory. Our weekend on speed continues here in Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy, site of the 1956 Winter Olympic Games. It's the FIBT two-man World Cup bobsled. Hi, everyone. Tim Singer along with John Morgan. John, it's been an interesting season so far in two-man bobsled, dominated by a German and an American. First heat earlier today. Yeah, the guy who won the event last year, Matthias Hoffner of Germany, crashed out of the finish. Disqualified. Wow, we weren't done. Daniel Schmidt of Switzerland, he also had problems. If you watched World, Women's World Cup bobsledding, three different women crashed in that curve. We weren't done. Edwin Van Conker, a Dutch athlete. Look at the sled come back up. This track is a challenge, but there were some people that could negotiate the track. Evo Deletovic. Fourth place here. This is the European Championships. This is a big deal for these guys. His best result in almost five years. Now, unknown territory for Andre Lange. Andre Lange, third place, end of the first heat. A little shocking, 700s out of first. He's still lurking. First time he's been beat in a single heat in two man bobsled all winter. Very close race at the top of the leaderboard. Steve Holcomb and Brock Kreitzberg, great start times. Bodine sled was flying to the bottom part of the track, except for that skid. Holcomb's only a hundredth back of this North American friend, Pierre Luters, David Bissett. Luters, great start. First time he's ever used Bissett in a World Cup race. He's a rookie on tour. And they're the leaders by only a hundredth of a second. So it's a beautiful day here in Italy, but the North Americans are raining on the Europeans' parade here at the European Championships. Looters followed by Holcomb. Then there's Lange in third, the surprise Czech sled, and Swiss number one sitting in fifth place. A check at the rest of the standings, and the Italians are always popular, always tough on their home track. Bertazzo currently in sixth place. Well, we've got another Canadian sled we'll be concentrating on in just a moment here, sitting in 17th. There's a look at the jury watching, making sure the athletes follow the rules. The sleds are the proper weight. And we move to the top of the track. Here's how it runs. Reverse order in run number two. So the American and Canadian sleds that lead will see last. But here's another Canadian sled. A young Canadian driver by the name of Lyndon Rush, 26 years old, originally from Saskatoon, and his brake man, Justin Cripps. First time we've seen them out on the World Cup tour. World Cup bobsledding, a two-heat race combined time. So the times you see right now for Canada 2 are being added on from their first run, and they're going up against a British sled, which has already come down the track earlier you see green, that means they're the leaders. If you see red numbers, they've fallen behind. 1800s lead. Now, this is a very challenging track for anybody that comes here for, a, I don't know how many times this rush has been down the track, but he's doing pretty well to date. It's not about your time, it's just getting to the bottom. Sometimes the rule is the faster you go, the more likely you may crash, but there really is no rhyme or reason on this track. This track has got a personality of its own. 20 hunters. He was up now. He's down by three. That's relative to the problem. I think he had up at Belvedere Bandione and the British are looking on these and uh, the Rush. British hold on to the lead. Rush falls back two spots. So 148.7 for the two heats. Still a good run, Tim. He made it to the bottom. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, it's his first appearance this year. It may be, I'm not sure of the records here, his debut on the World Cup. So to make it down in one piece on this track is not a bad thing. Look at these compelling pictures. That's some curve. Cristallo. Now, side by side, you can see the problems that the Canadian sled had. That's why the British are in the lead. More to come in a moment. I'm thinking of a number between 450 and 850. Do you know what it is? 
it's my credit score, and it happens to be 720. The higher my credit score, the better chance I have of saving a lot of money. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out right now at FreeCreditReport.com. You can even print it out if you want to. How much easier could it get? Log on to FreeCreditReport.com. That's FreeCreditReport.com. Free Credit Report offer applies with enrollment in triple advantage. Introducing the new My Circle Family Choice Plan from Alta Wireless. My Circle lets you choose the people you call for free, any 10 numbers on any network. And the Family Choice Plan comes loaded with 1,000 national anytime minutes and a second line free. Plus, each line gets the flexibility to choose a bonus feature, 1,000 free messages or nights starting at 7 p.m. Bring it home with this ultra-slim MP3 phone with external controls. So switch today. Take the My Circle head-to-head -head challenge at altelcircle.com. Speed takes you to Barrett Jackson. When you enter that room, you get goosebumps. Heavy metal meets classic metal. It's almost like being in Russia. Welcome to Barrett Jackson. Log on to speedtv.com to make your Haggerty fantasy bid. Hey, you didn't buy a car, you bought a whole experience. I love this stuff. Barrett Jackson begins Tuesday, 7 Eastern, only on Speed. Presented by Haggerty Collector Car Insurance. <laughs> So how do you plan a legendary winter vacation? Start with the highest elevation and the biggest vertical in the east. Add 98% snowmaking coverage, the fastest gondola in North America, even a dedicated mountain for kids and beginners. That's Whiteface. And talk about legendary. After hosting two Winter Olympics, the village of Lake Placid has learned a few things about Adirondack hospitality. And it's a shorter, easier drive to Whiteface Lake Placid than to most Vermont resorts. Whiteface Lake Placid, the magic continues. World Cup bobsledding on speed is being brought to you by Konica Minolta, the official sponsor of the FIBT World Cup bobsleigh and skeleton tour, and by Omega, providing official race timing for FIBT events. Back here in Cortino, you've already seen this track, and John, here's the bird's eye view of what some say is the toughest course in the world. Well, Bill, way back in the early 50s for the 56 Winter Olympic Games. And look at the drive lines. The track used to be about 300 meters longer. They shortened it after the 81 World Championships. And the drivers, needless to say, have some big eyes coming down this track. Get in, no movement allowed up here. Curveira's a little tiny left. Now, this straightaway here, not everybody gets through here clean. Now you got Sento. Now, Sento, you start to feel the pressure. Three-quarter combination labyrinth coming up for the track. It's got to have them. And here at Cortina, this labyrinth is dangerous. Second labyrinth. Third labyrinth. Now, Belvedere Bandillon. Watch this. Sweeping left. Crossover. Now, a big right. Slingshot effect here in the bottom. Look at the athlete's eyes. Now, this is where all the problems are. Right here. A little problem right there. That little counter curve. Now, Antelo coming up. Speeds at this point. Now, 70 miles an hour out of Cristallo. Big slingshot effect at the bottom part of the track. Here, you're almost airborne. Now, Valletta. This is not easy down here. This is where we saw the German sled crash. Now, into the finish. What a challenge. At the head of this point of view shot, we saw the track record. The track record of 52.80 was set by this man. Thomas Lorschitz, Meiningen, Germany. <laughs> Noko Petzold, Potsdam, Deutschland. Junior world champion last year on this track here. First time we've seen him. Germans just keep marching people out. Could be another Andre Long on this guy, who knows? Once again, as we look at the Austrians who took over the lead while we were at the commercial break, the German who won this race last year, Matthias Hopner, was the first sled in the first heat and had a wicked crash. He says okay, should see him in the four-man. He won this event last year. That's unbelievable. The guy who wins the event happens to draw number one, goes down and crashes. Set Love it, this track. Set an ominous stage for the morning. Needless to say, there were a few people taking attention of all this on top of the track, namely the guys who had to come down. Not easy listening to other people crash before you come down. Young driver here, he set this track record last year during the Junior World event. He's got some clean lines. Very clean, 1100s, up to 14, 111 kilometers. It's about 68, 69 miles an hour. 
Now they get into the fast part of the track. Down to 11. You saw the runners turning. He's got some issues. Wolfgang Stomper looks on. It could be close. It is close. Three hundredths of a second. And all the Austrians can do is just have a little hug of solace down at the finish. What do you think? Another, yet another German here to look out for in the years to come? He can finish no worse than seventh place. European Championships, that's about fifth, fourth or fifth. Could be another German we could see for another decade. The Italians. Simone Bertazzo, Pieve di Cadore, Italia. Simone Ravanini, Buceto, Parma, Italia. Ivo Ferriani, longtime coach, director of the Torino Winter Olympic Games on that venue at Sestriere last year. Bertazio. Finished 16th on his home track at this event last year. He's making slow strides in the sport of bobsled from a country which once was arguably the best in the world. Dominated. Look at that mistake, though. That's a double bounce. You could bounce once, come out of that curve, hit to the right, but he came back to the other side of the track. Look at that. He went from plus 7 to plus 21. And that's going to get worse before it gets better. He needs to be absolutely perfect the rest of the way down. Now no. it's up to 37. That killed him up there. That There's his fan club the for Tazzo. Right there with the big flackers. They should take that down because he's not going to move up. In <laughs> hey, fact, he's going to fall you down. Still a root for your guy, win or lose, John. Now he's got it straightened out. A little too late. Germans now know they moved up one more. And again, this is a European Championships. Even though there's two North Americans up in front of him. Best time of the heat. Well, half a second off the pace. So a very disappointing run number two in front of the home crowd for Italy number one. Yeah, it was all up top. You can't do that up top out of Central. The crowd actually looks a little stunned. They expected him to do a little bit better. Here he is out of Bondione. Bang. How the runners look. Skid. Now he goes into that little counter curve that's been eating everybody alive. I bet you he had some big eyes. Speed is taking you inside Barry Jackson. Oh, oh, oh. This is Life on the Fly. This is a million dollars. I love this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Doesn't get any better. This is the Monday night, the future liner breaks into record territory. There's a problem with the deal. But the real drama comes after the gavel drops. We had a major issue on our hands. Barrett Jackson, Life on the Block. Monday, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, only on Speed. As a loan officer, I hate saying no to good people. If you've been turned down for a car loan, it's time to call Bar None. During the past 10 years, they've assisted over 5 million people. Bar None was there for me when the chips were down, and they helped me out tremendously. Bar None will treat you like a real person. In as little as five minutes, they can process your application, and their customer service is open 24-7. Isn't it time for someone to say yes? Get your car today. Call 1-800-BAR-NONE. Can't get gas for a buck. You can't even get a cup of coffee for a buck. But you can get million-dollar abs for a buck. Ab Lounge is the new gold standard in abdominal exercise. And now you can try the Ab Lounge XL system for a full 30 days with free shipping and handling on delivery. Not for the usual $14.95, but for just $1. Crunches are obsolete. Ab Lounge XL's jackknife gets you up off the floor, stretching beyond 180 degrees for ultimate results. When people ask me if the Ab Lounge works, I tell them it's amazing. It got rid of my pot belly. If it can do that, it can do anything. Ab Lounge XL is built with club quality features and stores just about anywhere. Call now to try Ab Lounge XL, including Ab Blasting DVD, Healthy Eating Guide, Two Week Jump Start Program, and Aerobic Workout for 30 Days for just $1. We know you'll love it, but if you don't, call within the trial period, send the system back, and have no additional payments. We'll even refund your dollar. You can get this greasy hamburger for a buck, or you can discover the secret to million dollar abs. Not quite sure what it's like in the USA on this Sunday afternoon, but a beautiful day here in Italy. Not for Matthias Hoffner, who you saw there, and crashed in the first run. Just above freezing, but the sky tells it all. Swiss number one, fifth place after run number one. Jurek Tukziti, Schweiz. So, Ruick, a veteran driver, 35 years old, won one World Cup medal last year. 
And John, as we check out the standings with the young German on top, this veteran Swiss, he, he seems to be that guy this year that just keeps missing out on the World Cup medals. Last year, he missed out a couple medals by a couple hundreds here and there. Just is on the bubble, just on the outside looking in. Got a medal up in Calgary, tied Pierre Luter. I don't, Calgary or Park City, he won a medal by tying somebody for third place. But, you know, the Swiss don't have Martin Annen in the field. This is their number one gun. And this is the European Championships. And this is about a medal in the European Championships is as good as a medal in the World Championships. That's right. Actually, if he comes down in first place here, he will have clinched at least a bronze medal for the European event. And he's 1900s up here. Yeah. Good clean lines for Evil Rug and Cedric Grand. Look at this. 1600s is down to. Must have lost some time up in Belvedere Bandillon. This should be enough. And it is. Got it. Two tenths of a second, 53.43 for the run. 146.9, the two heat combined time as Swiss number one captures a European championship medal. Can do no worse than fifth here in the World Cup. Good lines in the bottom part of the track. Congratulations from the rest of their Swiss teammates. Here it is, Cristallo. Look at these shots. Slingshot effect on the bottom part of the track. That's straight. Over the jump, look at the rudder tips. Barely a tap. Doesn't have the best speed, but pretty close. When you drive that well, you can give away a couple of kilometers. And the coaches, they almost look relaxed, like finally. Smiles from Grand and Ruig. And here's the story of the day, folks. Ivo Danilevic, Jablonec, Czech Republic. Roman Gomola, Praha, Czech Republic. This sled has never finished out of the teams, better than the teams in any World Cup race. This despite the fact this is a very, very veteran driver. Been around for 11 years, and he's looking at his biggest day. John, if he comes down in first place, he can do no worse than top four in the World Cup and silver for the European Championships. Decent start. He's been around a long time, Tim. Veteran, big guy. He's finished in the top 10 before the World Cup. But in the last couple of years, he sometimes, most of the time, missed the cut in the top right. 20. Right. So this tells you it's all about driving. Obviously, his equipment works well here. Nice bang. Then he comes straight there. Now in the labyrinths. This is a big day for his country. There are checks. I can't remember in my lifetime I've ever won a medal of any kind well, in the sport. Well, they've fallen back, so uh, we shouldn't speak too soon here. 1500s back at the last split. But, but it's down to 11. It's going to need to be straight. Watch this Cristallo loop. Slingshot effect on the bottom. Down to four. Perfect. This is some run. Perfect there. The Swiss look on. It's going to be close. They look concerned across the oh, finish line by a hundredth of a second. Wow. The look Czech the Republic holds on to its spot, captures at least a silver medal in the European Championships, and they are certainly pumped up down at the bottom, but I got to believe somewhat shocked. Everybody's shocked. They Buster on the edge of going backwards. They put the brakes on. He had, this is really, you don't ever see this in bobsledding. The Czechs beating the Swiss. It's just unheard of. What a heat for these guys. Look at this. Look at the reaction. The Swiss. The Czechs up top. Never won a medal. Now they've got at least a silver medal in the Europeans. Look at the frustration on the Swiss face. Well, that's the surprise of the event, but the big three still set to go. Last will be the Canadian looters, but getting ready at the top. Andre Lange of Germany and American Steve Holcomb. Stick around. Tonight on the Speed Report, we remember the great life and career of Bobby Hamilton. Plus, in-depth coverage as testing continues on the high banks of Daytona. The Speed Report, tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on Speed. From Ensenada to La Paz, over 1,000 miles, two teams, one mission, conquer the Baja 1000. You never conquer the Baja, Baja conquers you. Two roads to Baja, today, 3 Eastern, only on Speed. Hey guys, printers that ink. Just shake it. Out of ink, 
Get $3 off your total purchase with any empty ink cartridge from these brands. Staples, that was easy. Speed news and expert analysis. It's all about credibility. Here it goes. The love of the race. Like Get the rest of the soul. The life of the race. Go directly to the souls. Got a passion for racing on two wheels? Well, now you can get all the breaking news, in-depth analysis, and more with the Motorcycle Racing Report, only at SpeedTV.com. Keyword green, presented by Kawasaki. So how do you plan a legendary winter vacation? Start with the highest elevation and the biggest vertical in the east. At 98% snowmaking coverage, the fastest gondola in North America, even a dedicated mountain for kids and beginners. That's Whiteface. And talk about legendary. After hosting two Winter Olympics, the village of Lake Placid has learned a few things about Adirondack hospitality. And it's a shorter, easier drive to Whiteface Lake Placid than to most Vermont resorts. Whiteface Lake Placid. The magic continues. Get your kicks from Risky Mix. Roll on nice. Awaits these nights. This weekend, while the bobsled event goes on in Cortina, the skeleton athletes are taking part in Nagano, Japan. And once again, it was a banner weekend for the Americans. Eric Bradonis, Avondale, Pennsylvania, USA. Zach Warren, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. Masari Nada, Hokkaido, Japan. Katie Newlander, Breckenridge, Colorado, USA. Michelle Steele, from the very Australia. Courtney Yamada, Boise, Idaho, USA. For Ulander, it's a perfect four for four on the season. Zach Lund continues to lead the World Cup for the men, and we'll see the skeleton athletes next week in Innsbruck, Austria. Here's the finest of all bobsled pilots from Germany, coming off of his first heat loss of the season. Andre Lange, Suhl, Deutschland. Kevin Kuska, Potsdam, Germany. And John, the Americans and Canadians still wait to go, but even though this man lost a heat, he certainly is capable of making magic here in run number two. Only 700s out of the gold, 600s out of the silver. For him on this track, that's nothing. 3,800s now ahead of the surprise checks who sit down in the finish. To have the checks in the same name or same, <laughs> same reference box, as yeah. Andre Lange? <laughs> <laughs> I would have bet a lot of money to get this. This is a. 500 to one shot at the bottom part of the track. Still 3,800s up. That's not a good sign. He should have been pulling away. Look at that. Look at the runner movement there. That is not Andre Lange. It's down to 25. Wow. Still a nice margin, though, here in the lower part of the track. But... Just got to keep it straight. Just depends how much time he lost. Whoa. Down to 10. Down to a 10. This is going to be very tight, and this is a big story developing. Will the Czech Republic actually win the European Championship? It's on the line here. They do by three hundredths of a second. Andre Lange falls back two spots, and all perhaps because of that little bit of driving midway down the track. USA beating the Russians in hockey, in bobsledding. This is shock. Look at the German athletes. Polite applause, but a bit of shock. This is where it really started going bad. Watch the runner tip. Skid. Look at the look at the steering. And now, look at the speed. Long, almost two kilometers down to the Czechs right there. Look at this celebration. The Czech Republic has won the European Championships, and Andre Langa will do no better than fifth, the man who has won every race this year. Next up, the United States. Stephen Holcomb, Parks of Utah, USA. Brock Kreitzberg, Akron, Ohio, the USA. Three second places, this team is sick of being the bridesmaids. You know, it's 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 tough finishing. It's great to finish second, but it's really tough to continue to finish second to the Germans or to another team. So uh, we're pretty hungry for our first place victory. That's Brock Kreitzberg. And there here comes Holcomb and Kreitzberg and their Bodine sled in a very familiar position. They've won three straight silver medals. And they're only a hundred in back of the Canadians who are yet to go and three tenths of a second ahead of this Czech Republic sled and as you see they've extended that. Yeah, but Longa was up by 3800s up here and he threw all his time away. Now that's up to 35 to 38. That's a good sign. A little drift there. But the Bodine sleds, they fly on this track. Ten years ago, Brian Scheimer, 11 years ago, 10 years ago last December, Brian Scheimer won a gold medal, which really the first big 
big season for the Bodine Sleds. His first victory, and he now, of course, is the USA coach. And now 36, is up 37. Big speed, 112 clicks, 70 plus miles an hour, up to 40. And perfect. Perfect driving. This is at least a silver medal for Steve Holcomb and Brock Kreisberg. So the miracle for the Czech Republic, their dream comes to an end as the USA celebrates at least a fourth consecutive silver medal this season. What a great try. Holcomb had some problems in the first run, didn't have any problems in that run, and now it's up to Canada's Pierre Luders. Brian Scheimer. There is Scheimer right there, the man, the coach for the USA team. He won his first event. John said 10 years ago, the USA has the lead. Handshakes from the Czech Republic. One sled remains, Canadian Pierre Luders ready to go. Training camp is in session. NASCAR preseason thunder. Coverage continues tonight, 6.30 Eastern on Speed. The patent-pending Little Giant ladder system is not just one ladder. It actually converts to 24 ladders in one small, easy-to-use ladder system. For years, Robin and I have been telling everyone about the incredible versatility of the Little Giant ladder system. It's a ladder we both own and love. Here's a special risk-free offer from Little Giant. You'll find hundreds of uses for the four different sized A-frame ladders, six staircase ladders, three 90-degree ladders, seven extension ladders, and two trussels for four sizes of time-saving scaffolding. The Little Giant has a lifetime warranty. And with a risk-free offer, you can try it yourself for 60 days. If you're not delighted, send it back. Order now, and you'll also receive a work platform, a $69 value free, and shipping and handling free. Call 1-800-LADDERS. 1-800-LADDERS. That's 1-800-L-A-D-D-E-R-S. Call right now. You'll be glad you did. When I signed up for Vonage, I was able to keep my phone number, and then when I moved, I was able to take it with me. Call quality is the utmost. It projects my business, and with Vonage, it's perfect. Vonage and reliability, that just kind of goes hand in hand. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long distance calling. Vonage is a better way to phone for less. Get one month free. Call 1-888-830-4VON. One sled to go, the Americans have the lead, while Canadian Pierre Luders is racing today with a new brake man. Well, we just thought it would be a good uh, good time to try Dave. He's never done a, a two-man race with me in a World Cup, so uh, we made the decision after Lake Placid that it might be a good, uh, good time to try uh, in the first World Cup uh, right after the Christmas break, and uh, so far, so good. Pierre Luders, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. David Bissett, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And John, this is truly being thrown into the fire. A big test here with only a 100th lead over the Americans. The set of football player from the University of Alberta. Obviously, just look at the size of him. You know he's got power, speed, strength, and team it up with looters. Start time, second best start time of the heat. They've got, got a 500th lead now on the Americans at the bottom. It's up to eight. That's relative to the start. Now watch this turn. Not this one, the next one coming up. He's gonna hit right here, coming out, he's gotta hit. Does he drift? No, 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 not bad, bit. it's a second time. Luders, of course, one of the most accomplished two-man pilots of all time, always does very well on this track. Yes, he's won on this track before. He's got this up to 15 hundredths of a lead. Rough transition there, a little runner play. 15 hundredths at the last clock, it's down to 13 hundredths here, and he's got a skid on the wrong side into Antelope. That could cost you speed. This next split will be very telling. Down, down to four. four. It's going to be to the hundredth of a second once again, perhaps. Will it be the Americans? Will it be the Canadians? The USA watches, and the USA captures the gold medal. We've seen some race. I'll say. There's the second place stat for Canada number one. They always medal here, but a big story, big stories all around. With the Americans winning the race, the there's Czech the skid. Republic. Look at this. Look at the way he come in the wrong side of Antelo, forced him to do a lot of turning. I don't think that's the line he wanted. He got a little skid there before Antelo. That caused him 
cost him a lot of speed. And you know, he was up to a six fifteen hundreds before then. Look at Coach Malcolm Lloyd, look on, he wasn't happy. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, but for Pierre Luter's second place. I wouldn't think second place we'd be upset with, but the Czechs in third place, Andre Long in fifth. All the years I've been in the sport of bobsledding, I've never seen somebody like the Czechs come out of nowhere to win a medal. Really shocking. Here's the rest of the field and the results. Represents what this Cortina track can do for the competition. USA Steve Holcomb's taking over the World Cup lead. Pierre Luter's in third. Wow. Most of this leaderboard, people expect. That Czech guy's not even in the top 10. Let's go down to Tim Singer for the interviews. Second place, Canada one, driver Pierre Luters and David Bissett. And Pierre, you always do well on this track, but I know you'll be thinking about what happened on that second run up in Antelope. Yeah, it, uh, we came through the kink there uh, where everybody's had some problems this week. Did it really nice and uh, just lost a little bit of control just before Antelope here, and that cost us. But that's okay. You know, every race we're getting better. And Dave, it's his first race with me and the two men. So uh, we're good. that's a good race. Congratulations, it is a good race. And first victory ever here in Cortina, USA won Stephen Holcomb, Brock Kreitzberg on the same track that your coach won his first race 10 years ago. Talk about the feeling of finally being on top. Uh, well, it's incredible. I mean, it's been, uh, we've been second place all year, and now to come out and get first is incredible. It's, uh, it's really cool. It was a good day. We, our, our sleds are running. The Wayland uh, sponsor boat on is, is fast. You know, we're, we're cruising, and things are going well. Uh, we've been training all great all week. Now we'll see what we can do in the four man. So I'm excited. Congratulations. Now the World Cup leader, the medals here, USA won, Canada won, and Czech Republic won here in Cortina. Well, if you like that action we just presented on the two-man from Cortina, wait.